How's it going guys? Today Chad and I are in the showroom and we're just super excited to get to walk around and show you guys this 1970 Dodge Charger. I mean this car is awesome. I know Chad's especially excited because uh, this is his favorite car on the lot. Definitely Dalda. I've already told uh, the guys here that I don't care if I sell this car or not. This is an absolutely phenomenal car and uh, I've never been behind the wheel even of a Hemi Charger and uh, this would be a super cool car to drive around this summer. So <clears throat> the story of this car, do you kind of want to go over that a little bit, Dad? It's got a great mix of originality uh, with pure upgraded performance and modern uh, suspension shocks and motor. Yeah, somebody t went ahead and took an original 44,000 mile car, guys, and just made an absolutely awesome street beast out of this car. Um, original 318, 1970 Charger, original color, original interior, which we'll get to in a little bit, and it's a pretty much 100% original interior. Carpet, mm -hmm. seat covers, headliner, everything. Um, they went ahead and they left all the original paint on the jams. They went ahead and put a show quality paint job on a rust-free original body. Now, if you go to our website, you're just not gonna believe the condition of the floor pans. This car has never had any work done on the floor pans, to my knowledge, and it's never been undercoated. So it's all painted in a high gloss black, uh, rust-free original metal on the floorboards, frame rails, I mean everything on this car Under, is super clean. Underneath of this car I was super impressed. I mean this car you can flip it upside down and eat family dinner off it. I mean it's just so damn clean. <laughs> it is super um, clean. And not to mention just clean, I mean somebody spent a crap load of money on the suspension of this. They put all new Fox shocks on it. Um, it's got uh, some really super cool tires on it. I, I went ahead, I didn't like their choice of wheels, so I went ahead and put these uh, brand new US mags on them. Um, but as far as the tires go, I mean, these are some special tires. Uh, kind of, I'm gonna say kind of a, like kind of a road racing tire. And um, that's how the suspension's kind of set yeah, up as with, well. With the suspension, they also put all new Hoskins uh, Super TVAS system, um, kind of suspension upgrade. I mean, it's the amount of money they spent um, on the mechanics of this car is awesome. Yeah, and it's, we're not gonna take this car out and, uh, Take it out on these salty roads, guys. I mean, this next time uh, this car goes on the road, it's going to be uh, to your garage or me driving around in the spring. So um, we're not going to take a chance of putting any salt on the undercarriage of this car. Now, here's what I love. Now, I know it's not a factory Hemi, but who the hell cares? I mean, this car has got a, a 485 Crate Hemi, 495 horse, power steering, power front disc brakes. Um, it's a rest of mine. Oh, my God. The rest of gorgeous resto here. mod. Yep, brand new battery. Um, we did go ahead and put uh, brand new exhaust manifold gaskets in it, so that's already been done. The paint in the door jams, the paint under the hood, firewall, is absolutely show quality. That's one hell of a motor. Oh my God, I can't wait to drive this car. Super, super cool, Dalton. You want to just give this just a really quick fire up? Yeah. On a cold start, just for like a, just a second tops. Um, we did go ahead, we put these new wheels and tires. We adjusted the suspension just a little bit down. I like a nice little rake to it. Um, and then we went ahead and took it and uh, went ahead and did a uh, full alignment on it too. Um, there's a switch for the headlights. Have, you know what you're talking about. And there's a headlight switch and then there's another switch as well to make those go up and down. Um, as we go in here to the front balance. Yep, there we go, D. Perfect. Yep, you can shut them. Might have to have it start. Works perfect, guys, all electric. So that's another thing. That, a lot of times that stuff doesn't work. Our front balance is great. The grill's excellent. Hideaway headlights work just like they should. Um, there's a bunch of different performance stuff here. We also have another fan here that's just keeping everything cool, the tranny cooler. It's got a little double fan here. We got another double fan here. I mean, this thing's set up to run. I mean, this thing's ready to go. Might break your heart if you sell it before summer. Well, I'm really excited about this car. Um, as far as our turn signals and stuff, do you want to just check those and we'll see if they work or not? Or if they're even hooked up? Yep, that'd be a good idea. Um, as long as we're waiting for that, uh, the windshield's in great shape. Uh, original vinyl top, as far as I can tell. Jason cleaned it and it looks great. No, I don't think Yep. So the turn signals aren't hooked up in here, guys. 
As far as our, check out the top of the hood to the top of the fender. I mean, it lines up absolutely perfect. As we go all the way around it, top of the fender, top of the cowl, top of the door, the back of the hood to the back of the cowl. You're just not gonna get one to fit. I don't think, guys, you're gonna get one to fit any better than this car, and a lot of it's because it's a 44,000 mile car. So if you're looking for just a damn nice 70 charger, um, this is it. We got a little chip right here. And I was just at Mecham at the sale and I was seeing some of these charger restaurants. They were bringing 140,000 bucks. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like them nearly as much as this one at half price. Yeah. Yeah, man, crazy. There's our slotted in the rotors. talked about the other side, both sides line up just like this. Um, the, the guy I didn't mention, he also made an RT clone out of it. So again, 318 car from the factory, transplanted uh, crate Hemi, 495 horsepower, original color, white vinyl top, and they added the RT stripe and the RT stuff on the doors, which I think really, really set this car off as well. Another one that they just did beautifully, guys, uh, painted the drip rail, excellent, down below. There's your undercarriage. Um, Dalton will post a couple pictures of the undercarriage up there as well, guys, so you can see it. But again, rust-free perfect. Check out that corner of that door right here. Again, you're not going to get them to fit any better than that. Over the wheel well is perfect. Um, vinyl top. Again, I think it's the original vinyl top as far as I can tell. It looks excellent. There's no bubbles or blisters anywhere in it. Um, this trunk panel piece is excellent. Look at the rear shelf, the top of the back seat. All that is perfect original. So it hasn't sat out in the sun much at all. I mean, this car is, I mean, like you said, a lot it's of It's pretty much are, damn cherry. I mean. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of, a lot of these chargers are, are rusty, you know? God. <laughs> a lot of them. Um, and this one, like you said, I mean, never has spec rust. I mean, just. You want to give it a turn? You want to fire it up? As far as the uh, charger goes in the back, look at the back tail panel. That's all been redone as well. The dual exhaust is done beautifully. Back bumper has been re-chromed. And check out how straight this is. I mean, this is a long car. These are huge quarter panels. And I don't think you're going to get one any straighter than this. Do you? No. the top of the door to the top of the fender the door handles are perfect now as we open up the doors this is what I love it just sits you back in time to 1970 we have the original paint in the door jams original door buzzer even beeps listen to that yeah that's annoying as hell it's got all the original seat belts original scuff plates it still has a few little scratches in there original carpet I had Jay clean it, but that's all we did. Check that out, guys. That is original carpet. 100%. Dome light works. Headliner is perfect. I shouldn't say perfect. I see a little spot here. It's got a little tiny little hole right here. Just a very, very small one. Go through the rest of it. Back shelf is excellent. Back seat is perfect. Door panels are excellent. Armrest bases. Original paint here is in great shape. You have to see this car in person and come in and check it out to really appreciate it. Um, armrest, base, pads, window cranks. Windows go up and down great. It's got the original window felt still in it. Here's the original paint in all the jams. Corner of the doors, perfect. Rust-free example, guys. The dash pad is like new. Horn works. I'm going to check, put the key in it again. I know with the door buzzer, but we'll see if the radio works. Here's your fuse panel piece. This is all, look at this, not even a speck of surface rust anywhere in this inside here where they had the little cup holders for sitting. Oh yeah, it works. It works, I don't know if we'll get Well, we won't in here, shed, but, but original radio comes right in, guys. Makes noise, so I'm guessing that'll work. 
Um, was an AC car. Don't know if we have a heater fan at all anymore. I don't think you can, once they put that hemi in there, you can. <laughs> <put much else. laughs> I don't think you can. But they're all original and everything's nice and clean and free there. Um, all the gauges work, wipers, wipers work. work. Um, On both speeds. Okay, cool. Bowl gauge works. We know the hideaway headlights work. That should be good. Um, dome light works on it. Visors are in great shape. Got that one little hole there in the headliner, but I definitely wouldn't touch that. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, guys, so the driver's side seat, um, right along this seam, it really needs to be fixed. Right along the seam, the stitching's come loose. I'm not gonna replace it. I'm gonna leave it alone. They're only original once, and this was original 50 years ago. So a 50-year-old seat in here. So I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, next owner will probably wanna put a little, have a vinyl repair guy to fix that. But very nice car. Also right here as we get to it, the uh, armrest has got a little split right on that seam, just on the stitching there. Steering wheel, check this out guys. There's no doubt in my mind that this is original 48,000, I said 44 earlier, it's a 48,953. So that's the original miles on the car. 48,953. Steering wheel is perfect as well. I'm gonna open the trunk, but. I love the ass end on this charger. Oh, dude, it is sweet. So as we go ahead and we'll just leave it just like that. So here's here's the appearance, guys. So we just popped the popped the trunk on this charger. It's got the original jack instructions, original paint on the bottom of the trunk. Original paint and jams. Hundred percent original paint and the jams, and along this quarter. If you're looking for a 1970 charger, guys, and you like this color like I do, you know if you don't buy this, you're missing one here. Check out the inner paint on the uh, original quarters. As far as I can tell, anyway. Looks like they did weld the whole shot here. If you can see that, there's a welded uh, four spots right along here. I guess there's a body side molding or something there. Got the original spare. Yeah, jack. Very neat. I mean, like I said, you don't you don't see that very often. I mean, they leave interior and jams and everything original, and then spend all kinds of money on. Oops. Yeah, this is pretty neat. This car's one of a kind. It really is. Look how that door, fender, quarter, all fits on this car. You can see why this is my favorite car. Yeah, there's not too many straighter chargers. And the paint color on this, I mean, this is a great color. Um, the metallic on this is fantastic. Besides that little chip I pointed out in the hood, I really haven't seen anything else to talk about on it yet. The corner of the door fits nice and the corner of the quarter lined up really well. The glass is all nice and clear. The trim along here has very, very minor scuffing. I wouldn't even call them scratches. Vinyl top. Again, original door jam paint. Very nice car, guys. Ready to jump in and enjoy, um, but definitely too nice to take out uh, this winter and drive, so.